if you can just uh, comment in the chat box. So if you bring your cursor down to your lower third, um, uh, if you're using a laptop or mobile, you'll see your microphone, your Q&A, and your chat box. And in your chat box, if people can just let me know how everyone's doing. Uh, Mike, you're a rubber ducky. That's good. Float, float above the emotions. Elena is happy. That's great. Uh, actually, today's a pretty good day energetically, actually. So, uh, yeah, it's a good day to be doing this type of work. Um, many of you know uh, who follow me. I was in White Lake on the weekend and did a physical uh, sacred fire uh, in Hayes Bay, which is uh, in the beautiful White Lake, uh, on White Lake. And um, for those of you who want to see a physical fire, uh, that's the closest you're going to get through me. So you can go to my wall on Facebook and just watch the fire. You can put your attentions and blessings in that as well. I did ask that if possible, you guys light a candle, uh, which is, can't really see mine because it's kind of all mushed up, but it's lit for sure, uh, which is symbolic of your fire at home. And uh, yeah, I've been having a, a little bit of a hard time with COVID, uh, finding locations with fires where... Uh, one more than one person could be uh where i can film it with internet parking and a, the big actually issue is funny enough washrooms so uh having said that we did it and um i filmed it so you can watch there uh if you're interested in actually feeling the, the vibration of a fire so the equinox of course isn't until tomorrow uh i'm actually doing it tonight uh simply because tomorrow's my birthday and so tomorrow night, I didn't want to be um, juggling uh, too many things. So I've been sort of working on the solstice energy, uh, sorry, solstice equinoxal energy uh, beforehand. But certainly know that tomorrow uh, it is the fall equinox. So um, all day tomorrow uh, and tomorrow evening, a great time to light candles, prayers, offerings, um, commune with nature, go outside. Um, uh, whatever you can do according to your, you know, situation at home and your, um, you know, your environment that you're in. So uh, to start off today's session, uh, Christine Tessier saying, uh, you've been wobbly wobbly. Yeah, you've, Christine was experiencing those moon wobbles, which is fun, uh, back on the new moon uh, last week. So we're going to be doing, uh, just starting off with some sacred rebel uh, cards. Okay, and this is just to set the tone for uh, the healing experience. So largely what we're doing today is an experiential energy activation. So the main crux of today is just to receive it, experience it, and, you know, be like a sponge, be soft, be supple, and let yourself uh, be expanded and journey with me. Uh, but because people are really liking the cards, says, you know, so, so do I. So first name um, only, Again, I don't care if it's your birth name, I don't care if it's your given name, uh, excuse me, your given name, birth name, uh, or your adopted name, or your nickname, whatever name you go by, okay? So I'm not gonna get into this long question and answer about your name, whatever name you are, A to G's, this is for A to G's, this is sort of the symbol card for the A to G's. You get number 27 in the Sacred Rebel deck receiving. Uh, a beautiful card of obviously looking at the spiral and receiving the light. A really beautiful card for the equinoxal energies, for sure. Uh, then we're going to jump down to H to N, first name. H to N, this one's yours. Again, this is from the Sacred Rebel deck, Elena Fairchild. Oh, this popped right out. Number 29, seeing the true you. Again, she's reflective, she's emotional, uh, she's looking in the water. Uh, those are lily pads. Um, lily pad medicine would for sure uh, be part of that card energy as well. And then we go over to O to U. What card does the O to U need as a theme for tonight's work? Sorry, it's, well, you got two because they're stuck. It's um, number 39, free from judgment, free to love. And this one was right beside it. Number 34, 
in the world, not of the world. So really walking in between the worlds, uh, Pisces, goldfish, um, those look like salmon actually. So I would research salmon medicine as well. Um, so O to use, you get double whammy here. Wonderful, beautiful cards. And then last but not least, V to Z. Uh, you get number 38, restore and replenish. It's again, child posing yoga, going back into the cosmic womb, which essentially is what we're doing tonight is together as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, for the J's, I don't even remember what card I picked. So uh, Jane, if you're online, what card did we get? Uh, just type it in or let me know later. I just totally forgot what card I picked for myself, but anyway, that's fine. It's all good. So, uh, this equinox has been sort of the, is the culmination really of a series of events starting from September 2nd, which, uh, was the full moon in September, but really was acting like a cosmic reset. And for many of you who are along with me tonight, uh, it was, um, I don't know, you'll have to check the, the, the replay, um, Mike. Um, the September 2nd energy was a, a reset button. And uh, it's like September's energy was a whole new vibration, a whole new uh, frequency. Things are getting faster. Things are getting stranger. Time fluxes, timelines are mixing in and up, uh, sorry, intertwining. Um, time is actually literally moving on a number eight. Um, for a lot of people, it's a hot mess. Uh, for some of you who can navigate, uh, it's been easy. And for others, it's been hard. And I know that sounds like a no answer. Uh, it kind of depends on the persons um, because time is being affected. So their perception of time has been affected things going really fast or things going really slow, um, things being really easy or things being really hard. And again, it depends on where you're at in your own sort of growth cycle and evolutionary cycle. So uh, today though, the energies have been building up. We had the full moon, September 17th, new moon, which was just last week. And now we have um, the uh, equinox tomorrow, uh, really kind of building up energy uh, it really is one of the midway markers. So if you could see the fall equinox, what we normally treat the June solstice as. The June solstice is typically mid-year, right? Middle of the calendar, shamanically kind of mid-season growth, you know, uh, uh, gardens, spring, summer, that kind of thing. Uh, the abundance of a garden and, and, and being out there, enjoyment. Fall obviously typically is the hardest, uh, but because everything was late this year, uh, not only are gardens late, growth is late. I mean, again, COVID delayed a lot of things. So everything's late. Everything's kind of pushed down. Uh, timelines have shifted. So in a way, this fall equinox energy is acting almost identical to the June solstice. Uh, so in a way it's a midway point, even though we're on the last quarter of 2020. So the last quarter of 2020 is gonna be the biggest. It's gonna be the most powerful. It's literally sort of the birthing pain. It's the last push uh, cosmically out um, uh, when the baby kind of arrives December 21 uh, and then the January energy of 2021 kicking in. So if there's such a thing as labor pains and a cycle of growth, we're in active labor and you're doing the breathing, you're feeling the, the, the contractions, you know something good's coming. You're kind of, some of you are afraid, wanna go back, you wanna stop it all. You wanna write, hide and run, uh, you know, run and hide, but you can't, you know, the baby's coming out. You're, you gotta participate whether you like it or not. And it's like the doctor slaps you or the midwife slaps you and says, okay, push. So in a cool way, this is the cosmic push tonight's uh, 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 event. Um, I've been shown a couple ways of doing it, so I'm not quite sure what they're gonna show me tonight. Essentially, we need to get to the Milky Way galaxy. Pretty easy for those of you who are online, uh, very intuitive people. 
uh, we can imagine we're on a balloon, um, an astronaut, we can just beam ourselves there. But we want to imagine that we start off with the Milky Way above us as if we're, you know, lying on the Earth's ground, looking up and seeing some beautiful stars, and then immediately uh, be taken into the Milky Way galaxy. And uh, we're almost like we're rings and rings and rings of stars. And then we're like, you know, like Carl Sagan's picture, you are here, tiny dot. We become that tiny dot inside the Milky Way galaxy. And we're going to go to a zero point. So zero point's a place of all healing, where everything is possible, where nothing exists and everything exists. So it's almost like the void itself. It's the center of all centers. Uh, it is nothing and everything. Um, and it is a place where we can um, start over, we can manifest, we can create, we can um, reconnect, repattern. Um, and I look at the card. Uh, it's funny enough, I picked these, I was just playing with these two cards. Uh, these are sacred destiny cards. And really love and success. So, the, you know, spirit is kind of talking to me right now about, you know, this is what we're doing is we're re-imprinting victory and love, which is really the only uh, thing in the universe. So let's just go with those two themes because uh, the Black Panther, the bless, sorry, the Black Jaguar uh, would be an animal totem I would research. And of course, these peonies, um, I don't even know what that other flower is, roses, peonies, and something else. So research those because those are kind of met, um, messages about what we're doing as a group. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for that support, uh, keeping me going, keeping the lights on. Uh, but also the group energy helps us all shift faster. So I really appreciate my, my colleagues and friends and, and students and uh, um, you know, clients who are on today with us to help us sort of move the, the whole uh, faster, the whole bigger and faster. So what I'd like you to do, really important, I just realized my drink is upstairs and I left it on my dining room table. So I'm gonna give you guys a, a one minute pause to go get water or something liquid. Um, I have some hot tea upstairs that I need. I'm pretty sure I didn't bring it down. So I apologize for that. So give me one moment. I'm gonna just disappear on you. I'll be back in a jiff. All right, sorry about that. So um, I've had a lot of kind of challenges recording these sessions um, in general, uh, pretty much since the June equinox, sorry, the June solstice, I keep screwing that up. Uh, and I'm realizing that, you know, according to the tradition I was um, trained in, we're not supposed to record any of this. So the internet keeps glitching out or the recording disappears or Zoom says storage, you know, too much storage and kind of ixnays. I know everyone um, loves the online platform and, you know, wants a recording of everything because they've paid for it. Um, there is going to be a recording. Uh, you have to send me an email. Do you want it? That will prompt me to send you the link. Uh, it's usually available um, within maybe half an hour of the session. Uh, I'm gonna invite you to, um, if you're gonna do it again, it'll only be active until Saturday because beyond that, uh, the energy would have dissipated. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a little warning. If you want a recording, uh, a replay, that's fine. Send me an email, I'll send it to you um, by tomorrow. I'll probably go to bed right after this, so, so not tonight. Uh, you should, or you can do it once between now and Saturday, and then after Saturday, it won't be uh, active anymore. So just a bit of a heads up on that. 
Uh, sorry, there's another card staring me down. I'm just going to bring that up for everyone. Uh, it's a maple tree shedding its, or pardon me, it's a, yeah, it's a maple tree shedding its leaves. Release. So sometimes when we release things, it's not good to record it. We want to let it go and, it, you know, we don't want actual paper. And that's the whole point of uh, a true shamanic fire is we release it into the, uh, the flames and it goes into smoke into into creator's ether world uh, to be executed and um, uh, manifested and made real. So I'm suspecting my internet problems are to do with the nature of the work I do and perhaps that recording is not going to be something that I might be able to do all the time. Um, yeah, so any questions before we start? Um, we're going to go kind of right into it. Uh, for those of you, let me just double check who's online. I'm pretty sure I know everybody. So I'm not going to kind of explain things. Uh, welcome, Amy, uh, Christine E, Christine T, uh, Elena, Jane, uh, Jennifer, Kelly, uh, sorry, uh, Jen K, Karen, uh, Mary Lou, Melanie, uh, Mike. Uh, yeah, so most of you are, are actually my graduates, so that's awesome. So uh, you all know your stuff, uh, and welcome those who aren't, and they're all my friends though, so that's good. So, uh, guided meditation, um, well, sorry, I just feel a shoulder tap. This is not a guided meditation, and that's why they always don't like it being recorded. It's a ceremony. So ceremonies are, are, are way more uh, way more work on my end, way more work on spirits end because they're holding the space for people to evolve. It's not just sort of deep breathe and let your mind go. So this is this is a shamanic experience. Um, I've already opened um, uh, sort of sacred space uh, on my end. Uh, but what we can do is um, I have my rattle. I just use my rattle for my, oh, there it is, Start staring down at me. What we'll do is actually let's, let's open sacred space just because we're all here. So in your mind's eye, uh, I'm not gonna physically move. So typically you're supposed to move and face the directions. So what I want you to do is just listen to the rattle. In your mind's eye, your eyes are gonna be closed. You're gonna listen with your ears. Your two hands are going to be palm facing up in reverence. We're going to face the direction of south. So south for me is actually that way. So I don't know where you guys are. Uh, I'm just going to kind of turn in my chair. So in your mind's eye, just do it. Uh, imagination, okay? Kijimanado, great creator, we call upon the great bear, the great makwa of the south to come into this healing space, to bring us your medicine, to bring us um, your mother bear wisdom teachings, and to protect us and guide us through the winter. Miigwech. Now we go west, wherever your west is, wherever you are geographically in the world, face west. Kijimendo, great creator, we call upon the great Algonquin wolf of the west to come in to mulch every, uh, all the heavy energy to patrol uh, us and keep us safe as we journey to the zero point in the Milky Way galaxy. Bring us your mystery and your magic, miigwech. Uh, now we turn north, and my north is that way. Fiji Mando, great creator, I call upon the great um, owl of the north. Of you who see beyond the veil and reveal the secrets of the other side, fly into our space, give us your eyes and your ears, and teach us your medicine, miigwech. Uh, now we go east, and east is behind me, so excuse me for a second. Hiji Manando, great creator, call upon the great beaver of the east to bring in your healing solutions, your medicine, your wisdom teachings, and teach us how to build our dreams here and now. Miigwech. Then we focus on the earth beneath us, which is Pachamama, Mother Earth. Gaia, Mother Earth, Pachamama, thank you so much for never giving up on your children. Thank you for mulching our heavy energy and bringing our dreams come to alive today during the equinoxal energies. And thank you for blessing us with our. Uh, hearts, desires, and wishes. Miigwech. We go to the sky now. We go to the sky spirits and our ancestors. Kijimanando, great creator, we call upon the great uh, galactic brotherhood, our ancestors, uh, the angels, the extraterrestrial races, the dragons, the angels, the archangels, the ascended beings, 
the cosmic angels in all forms. Thank you for beating this song in our hearts, showing us the way back home. Next we go to the center, butterfly. Kiji Manado, great creator, and we call upon great mother butterfly, the great um, teacher of transformation herself. She must die seven times in, for, in order for her to develop her wings and fly. Show us your beauty, your ease, and your grace, Miigwech. Excellent. Take a deep breath in and out, everyone. So now knowing that our space is consecrated and safe to journey, so we're just gonna begin, again, I'm not gonna use music for this one. Palms up on your lap, relax your shoulders, feet flat on the floor if you can. If you're lying down, um, that's fine too, or in lotus. Just please, nothing crossed. So uncross your ankles, knees, arms, nothing crossed. Uh, relax your body, in through the nose, breathing, and out through the mouth. So deep breath in. And out. And we're going to do that for a few minutes as we relax and move um, out the sort of the anxiety of the day, the work day, the life you lead at home. And imagine your shoulders relaxing and your jaw relaxing and everything just start to sink into the earth itself. And imagine your feet, allowing your feet to grow roots and allowing them to grow down, down, down through the soil rock and bedrock into the earth itself. And imagine the center of the earth, the big core, uh, but please imagine it as diamond crystal fire. So you see elements of silver fire, white fire, rainbow fire. And then wrap your energy roots around the earth's core like you wrap a ball of yarn moving to the right. And with your up breath, breathe up your energy back up, 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 up into this physical vessel, the body you have. And a hot, like a hot air balloon can fill up with hot air, breathe up the fire and the steam of the earth into your body. Imagine the physical flames consuming all human discord, anxiety, grief, Worry, doubt, insecurity, instability, fear, sadness, shame. And imagine it going all the way up to the top of the head. So I want you to feel this hot air steam from the center of the earth filling you up and making you feel more uh, bubbly, like full. Soften the shoulders. Repeat, I am a clear, perfect, grounded channel. Light is my guide. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And for those of you with physical ailments, injuries, um, aches, extra weight, cellulite, you know, skin issues, organ issues, uh, blast that white um, diamond fire to those areas now. If you have eyesight issues, heart issues, back issues, imagine the white fire just kind of going up and down, up and down, vibrating at that space, wherever it is on your body that you'd like to focus on. You also may focus on many uh, areas of your body at once.
imagine that you're focusing on one area of your physical body now, two hands, palms facing down on your body, as if we're doing Reiki or energy work. Okay, so find the area on your body you'd like to focus on. If you don't have an area, focus on the upper chest, which is called the Sacred Heart. If you do know an area you'd like to focus on, place the, your hands there. If not, on the um, center of your chest. And again, allow the diamond white fire healing energy to flow out of your own hands into your own body. Be like a sponge and with your breath, absorb in that diamond white fire healing, which is spiritual healing. Deep breaths in and out, start to feel your hands get warm or tingly. And repeat the mantra, I am God, I am good. I am loved, I am love. I am God, I am good. I am loved, I am love. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. Really focus on the insecurity, sort of the, the pain, if you have physical pain, uh, um, aches and pains, um, injuries, or you've been diagnosed with sort of a challenge or a chronic issue, really send that diamond white fire healing energy like to your bones, to your blood, to your soft tissues. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am loved. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. So many of us right now are um, half a, a light being. So imagine that that white fire has lit you up. Imagine that you can dissolve and disappear into the white fire. Your flesh disappears, your skin, your hair, your genitalia, your identity starts to morph into white diamond fire. What I want you to do now, guys, is because Spirit is telling me that some of you, including myself, are only half a person. So I want you to imagine we can walk around ourselves like a sculptor observing the 360 viewpoint. Now look to the left, look to the right, and look behind. And with, again, healing hands, using your imagination, like a sculptor, use your white diamond fire healing energy to make yourself whole almost like we have our own personal 3D printer. Use the chant. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. In my case, I only have the front, I don't have the back. So I am building the back of my body. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. 
from the ankles, the tip of the head. Imagine you are sculpting a full 3D life-size version of your light body, but it's diamond white fire. Imagine that there's no holes, gaps, tears, dark spots, faded areas. It's full, bright, diamond white fire everywhere. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. Here we're bringing ourselves back into wholeness. Imagine you're working on the soles of your feet as well, the top of your head. Make sure every area is now diamond white fire. So now I want you to release your hands, take a relaxing deep breath in, deep breath out. Just do a check in right now and notice what is different. And now we're going to use our imagination and send the energy of the center of the earth through us to the physical moon above us. Imagine we are going directly to the moon that is around the Milky Way galaxy. So if you prefer to see the Milky Way galaxy, that's fine too. Imagine that we're going up, up, up into the night sky, connecting to the stars themselves. And once we connect to the Milky Way galaxy, the stars, our universe solar system, the moon, allow that silver fire healing energy just to flow back down into us. Like a shower, almost like a, a UFO, you know, beam comes down very precise, very electric silver platinum, like we've never seen it on earth. And this platinum fire creates a shield around us, like a lacquer. That is crystal, so silver, like a mirror and it reflects. So on the inside, you're still that bubbly diamond white fire healing energy. And on the outside, you now have a mirrored shield. That's uh, like the Oscar statue. It's uh, in Hollywood. The silver has completely morphed all over us into every nook and every cr cranny, like in the movie, The Silver Surfer in the Fantastic Four series. We're now pure mirrored energy. Smooth, no cracks, no holes. Again, like before, guys, work around a 360 uh, degree viewpoint on under the feet of the soles of the feet, in between the toes, behind the ears, in the ears, everything. Again, you're gonna chant, I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. And interesting, they, are, they actually are using the analogy of the silver surfer. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, just imagine that we have a silver surfboard showing up like a hoverboard. You're going to step on it. For those of you who have watched the movie, you're becoming the silver surfer in the Fantastic Four movies. 
This beautiful hoverboard, skateboard, surfboard has a mind of its own and it knows exactly where we're going. We are now going into the Milky Way galaxy itself. Imagine that you're perfectly balanced. You have the ability, the knowledge, everything is connected and intuitive. You're stable and safe. And just look around you right now as you kind of hover in outer space. Notice how the darkness feels, cold and warm all at once. Like astronauts who look at the earth from the moon, look at the earth beneath you, beside you. Look at the beautiful sun and its orange yellow molten lava. Notice the planet Venus beside us, our sister planet. Of course, the moon itself with its creators sorry, craters. <laughs> Some of you might see buildings on the moon. Notice all, of course, the other planets. And like one might feel like in a flotation tank, notice the stillness. The silver board will now take us directly inside the Milky Way galaxy itself. And here we have a lot more moving, a uh, swirling energy. Stardust, particles, large chunks, boulders of light. Stars within stars. And inside the Milky Way galaxy, you can actually feel almost like a whirlpool effect moving to your right. It's slow, but it's subtle, it's there. Everything is moving in a cosmic dance. Standing still and moving at the same time. Reach out your arms for a moment as you balance on your cosmic surfboard, hoverboard, and feel the Milky Way galaxy now. Most of you that are watching are energy sensitive, so you're gonna feel a density, almost like a cosmic soup. Repeat again, I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. Allow your hands to receive now, like a sponge, but a vacuum, breathe in, the magic and the mystery of the Milky Way galaxy, the particles, the stardust. They come informed and imprinted with it. Allow your silver surfer suit, like diamonds in the sky, like glitter, cosmic glitter. Become imprinted now with the consciousness of the Milky Way galaxy. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. Like before guys, Make sure your 360 view of your silver surfer self is being glittered, cosmically spackled and spiked.
sparkled. Sequins. I am God, I am good, I am love, I am loved. Imagine that you're being bedazzled by the cosmic forces. Some of you are going to start to feel heavy with this imprint. That's not unusual. Know that in your mind's eye, you're still perfectly balanced on the silver surfboard or the hoverboard that you're on. But just start to notice it. I am God. I am good. I am loved, I am loved. The silver surfboard you're standing on, balancing on is now gonna take you to a very specific kind of, let's say star or rock, uh, a static point in the Milky Way galaxy. And it's not that big, but it's beautiful. It's like a big rock of diamond. It's like a platform, a little place where you could sit. And using your imagination, know that the surfboard will be beside you and that you'll be sitting in lotus. Again, your physical body will be able to do this in uh, um, no time and zero point energy. As you sit there as the silver surfer meditating in a meditative pose, sitting in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, supported by this floating star or chunk of rock, could look like an iceberg. Notice the stillness in the cosmos, where again, it's a juxtaposition of everything is noisy and speaking, and everything is silent and listening. Again, we're gonna repeat, I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am loved. In your mind's eye above you, in front of you, we're gonna imagine that there's like this cosmic, um, I don't know what they call it. In the military world, it's like that board that they use to write plans on. It's a silver, excuse me, it's a clean sheet of glass. And they use a specific kind of pen where they write things on it, or there's a laser uh, and they move things on it. And uh, imagine it is a, a, an invisible sheet puzzle board. What this invisible board is going to represent, and if anyone knows what it is, save it for later and we'll explain it. it it's actually a, a scene in Minority Report with Tom Cruise that's coming to my mind right now and I forget what that's in. It's very military. It's for strategizing and seeing the layout. And matters not, we're just going to see it as sort of a clear sheet of glass. And with your hands, you're going to imagine yourself reforming your life. You're going to sit there and lotus in zero point energy where all things are possible, where everything can change, everything is fluid, where there is no time, there is no past, present, or future. So using your imagination now, so it's really like moving the puzzle pieces of a game around so that you can form a different picture. When your hands are palm facing out, you're energizing that perceived imaginary 
uh, sheet of um, glass or plastic, or in this case, of course, we're in the we're in, we're in the outer space, so it's probably something more galactic and cool. You're energizing your hands into this sort of record. Imagine it like an etheric record, a book, and we're rearranging the book of life. So we're going to start with your conception. I don't care what your history is. I don't care how your parents met, whether it was a rape or happy and love. I don't care if it, your mom knew your dad, whatever. The stories in the past no longer matter. We're now going to imagine a new history. And join me in now remembering your conception as one of the most joy-filled, celebrated experiences your biological mother and your biological father ever had. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. Now imagine we're stretching that energy. We're still using that diamond white fire, guys. Healing hands out in the outer record, the etheric record in front of us. And we're clearing conception. Birth, age one. Repeat, clear. I am God. I am good. I am loved, I am love. Now stretching that out to age one, two, three, four, five. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. Everyone take a deep breath in and out on this one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And another deep breath in, everyone. I am God. I am good. I am loved. I am love. I don't care about your story. The story is over. We're changing the story and writing a new history. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I am God. I am good. I am loved. I am love. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I am God. I am good. I am loved. I am love. Deep breath in, deep breath out. 20 to 25, I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. 25 to 30, I am God, I am good, I am love, I am love. If I've just passed your age, keep doing this. You're doing it into the future. For the millennials in the group, just know you're now energizing your future. For those of us who are older, it's still our past. 35 to 40, I am God, I am good, I am love, I am loved. 40 to 45, I am God. I am good, I am loved, I am love. 45 to 50, I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. 50 to 55, I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love.
55 to 60. I am God. I am good. I am loved. I am love. 60 to 65. I am God. I am good. I am love. I am love. Deep breath in, deep breath out. I've lost my train of numbers, so I'm gonna go 65 to 70. I am God, I am good, I am love, I am loved. Seventy to seventy-five. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. Now sweeping the energy from conception with white fire to 75. 75 to 85, I am God, I am good. I am loved, I am love. 85 to 95, I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. 95 to 100, I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. In your mind's eye, sweet from conception to age 100, by no means am I saying we only last 100 years, but for the purposes of this healing, we are just going to human age 100 and back. Chant over your timeline. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. I am God, I am good, I am love, I am love. Now, with moving imagery, imagine puzzle pieces coming in. What are the missing pieces you need in your life right now? So let's bring in love of all forms, physical, financial abundance, opportunity, imagine support, friends, soul tribe, community, romantic love, passion, sex, sensuality, physical health, vitality, longevity, Adaptability, flexibility, positive mindset, positive uh, emotions, happiness, health, joy, play, fun. Bring in any element you want right now. Bring in victory, success. Ease and grace, peace and harmony. We are pulling in from the infinite cosmos. From the void itself. Everything that you didn't get to receive or experience yet in earth. Travel, luxury, opulence, adoration, celebration, respect, safety, recognition, passion, spirituality, connection, inspiration, ideas, ingenuity, genius. Pull in your genius.
I am love. I am, excuse me, I am good. And wait, oh my God. I am God. I am good. I am loved. I am love. I am God. I am good. I am loved. I am love. Imagine all the lifetimes of success, wisdom teachings, celebrations, adorations, recognition, abundance, safety, security, opulence, beauty, nature, travel, experience. Pull in now the sweetness of the flow. I call it to me now, 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 in this now moment of time, with blazing speed, with blazing speed, with blazing speed. Deep breaths in and out, everyone. You're now being imprinted. You are now affecting time in many timelines. Imagine you are pulling in from all that is and all that is not. Anything and everything you desire. Deliver it to me now, 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 in this now moment of time and space, with blazing speed, with blazing speed, with blazing speed. I am God, I am good. I am loved, I am love. Imagine this new um, etheric record imprinting your silver surfer self, your blood, your bones, your cells, your mind, your body, your spirit, your emotions, your finances, your feeling side of life, your past, your present, your future. We are rewriting history together now. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. I am God, I am good, I am loved, I am love. Take a deep breath in the nose and out the mouth. It's time for us to leave the Milky Way galaxy. And as you get up from lotus position, leave a flower lying on the rock you occupied. Notice what flower shows up in your mind's eye. It may not be the flower you think of. Mine is a red rose, which I normally don't work with. So that is a surprise to me. Imagine now that you're getting back on your silver surfboard or your hoverboard, whichever you imagine it to be. And we're now gonna move back down out through outer space, closer towards earth. Feel the joy, the freedom of this ride, of this connection to all that is and all that is not, to the inner and to the outer. As you get closer and closer to earth, you notice the clouds, beautiful blue blue water of the earth you notice how beautiful she is you notice how many places in the world you want to see experience touch and taste before you reach a hundred 
Pay attention to what areas of the world light up for you, because this is also an astral cartography map showing you what areas of the world you need to be in for your life purpose or for some greater reason. Pay attention to what areas of the world are lighting up for you. And now I want you to imagine you are landing back on Earth as the Silver Surfer. Your surfboard touches ground, you get off the Silver Surfboard, it disappears and goes back into outer space where it belongs. And as you stand on terra firma, Allow the silver energy to sink into the ground through your feet, into your bones, your blood, and then down into the earth itself, through your soil rock and bedrock, through your energetic connection to the molten lava center of the earth. Allow the silver of the cosmos to now imprint the earth's core where you are eternally connected. See that silver fire wrap around your energy roots that are already connected to the Earth's core. And become a human again with flesh, bones, organs, the you that you know, the you that's standing firm grounded, connected. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and notice that the ground beneath you is changing as well. It is healing, it is improving. It has become more magical, healthy, vital, abundant, beautiful. Two hands in prayer position over the center of your chest. Last chance. I am God. I am good. I am love. I am love. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Notice what is different in your body. I am so grateful, I am so grateful, I am so grateful. It is done, it is done, it is done. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deliver this to me now, now, now. With blazing speed, with blazing speed, with blazing speed. Now, now, now. How can it get any better than this? How can it get any better than this? How can it get any better than this? What else is possible? What else is possible? What else is possible? Work through me now, work through me now, work through me now. Show me. Show me, show me. With ease and grace, with ease and grace, with ease and grace. Last chance, da I, 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 da I. Bow and say thank you, a silent prayer of gratitude and thanks according to your own belief system and tradition, knowing that you have just shifted so many things on so many planes in so many dimensions of time and space.
Deep breath in, everyone. Deep breath out. Deep breath in and out. Rub your legs. Move the energy down your arms. Slowly open your eyes. Notice your physical body. Grab some of your water, your drink. That was awesome. I must say so myself. So uh, we're gonna grab Elena and see if she's awake. Elena, are you there? Hello. Hello, are you back on earth? I am and I did fall asleep. But that's okay. Yeah, and- So two cards for you, girl. Gateway and adventures. Oh my God. <laughs> the gateway is a unicorn and it looks like the uh, uh, Grand Canyon in the States. Are you in Berlin right now? No, I'll be there in a couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. And adventures. Adventures and unicorns. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah. And so how was that for you? Uh, hot. It was <laughs> hot. It was like, I was asleep part of it and the other part it was just like um, my hands were extremely hot but it felt good um, cool yeah. so what I want you to do is again ask for the replay anyone who fell asleep ask me for that replay um, and it'll just get you the um, replay faster and you can listen to it one more time between now and Saturday but don't do it more than once Okay, it was great, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Ciao. Uh, now we're going to go see. Let's grab. Uh, Christine E., how are you tonight? Good. How are you? Good. How was it for you? Uh, really good. Um, I felt really like just like light and like zoned out but it was good. Excellent. So you're getting the wonders and the focus cards. Wonders, this is a crystal going into outer space itself. Actually, it's kind of cool. And focus with a snowy leopard. Nice. So you should um, research that medicine. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Love to you. You too. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Tomorrow, but thank you. Yes. <laughs> it, this is all my birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of birthday, let's hit up my mama bear. Jane, can you speak? You just have to unmute. I don't know if you know how to do that. Go to your microphone at the bottom. Can you do that? Use your cursor to go to the bottom. Oh, there you are. No, I got you now. Okay. I'm, I'm, I, I got zonked, really. Oh, good. Are you asleep? No, I'm not asleep, but I'm Are you crying? No. No. Okay. I was, uh, as I said, zonked. I felt very, um, yeah, it hit me when we went into, we are part of the galaxy, uh, Milky Way galaxy as a solar system, Earth. Uh, but I traveled, uh, and I think the intention was to travel in the middle of, of it. And I went right into the core of uh, the Milky Way galaxy. Yes. Um, so the card I picked for you, which is so funny because you're my mom, it's our, our whale friends, our humpback whale, but she's actually carrying a baby whale underneath her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've been working with uh, the whales and the dolphins lately. Well, this is your card and there, there I am underneath you. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I'm carrying you. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're connected. It's so funny. Yeah. So it's a voyage card. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll hit up the one token mail that we have. <laughs> Let's see if he's awake though. This is the fun part with Mike Burke. He may not be here. Michael Burke, are you there, brother? I am. How and this, are you? This time I did not fall asleep. Oh it, no, I didn't do my work. <laughs> no, 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 no. I went, I went, you know, your silver surfer image. 
I had yeah. it before you even mentioned it. And of then course when I, you did. And then when I got to the center, it was like I was the galactic core. And it was like I nice. was burning energy everywhere. And so you have the was, white wolf. Oh, there we go. Purity. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, research wolf medicine. Will do. Yeah. And thank you. You would ask you. for the replay. If you don't mind, I need an email. Okay, got uh, it. It's just the platform that I can find faster. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be there thank before you. you end. Yes. Miss you guys. Thank you for joining tonight. Oh, thank you. And we'll hit up Melanie and then we'll close. Oh, sorry. I got to get rid of Mike. And Melanie, Melanie, Melanie. I don't get enough time, chance to talk to Melanie. So let's see if she's able to chat with us. Melanie, welcome online. Hi. How are you? I am well, thank you. Yes, and how was that for you? It was great. Um, you know, I, I debated whether or not to join you tonight and I am so glad that I did because I feel uh, uh, super recharged and just uh, ready to take off, so thank you. How was that a debate, Melanie? <laughs> Thank you for choosing us, Melanie. Uh, for that, you get two cards, security with the fire and the cosmos, which we just did, and pleasure with the stare to heaven and a deer. So make sure you light your candle. You uh, either watch my fire uh, ceremony from White Lake that's on my feed on my Facebook wall, and then research deer medicine. Awesome. Nice talking to you. Love you. Fantastic. Thank you. Love you. Happy birthday tomorrow. Oh, thank you. All right, guys. So we're going to close here. And I just want you to uh, pair two hands in prayer pose over your heart. We thank the, um, the seven directions, the seven sacred animals, the galactic uh, star brothers and sisters, the Milky Way galaxy itself. Mother Earth, Gaia, the solar logos, the sun, grandmother moon, and everyone in between. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We ask that this healing continue throughout the next few days with ease and grace, but I want miracles for everybody. I demand and command tangible evidence that this shit works. And the most powerful, loving, divine, delicious, delightful, surprising way. Deliver it to us now, now, now. With blazing speed, with blazing speed, with blazing speed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So guys, thank you so much. As I said, lots of water. Flush, flush, flush with water. Tomorrow is the equinox, so please pay attention to how you're feeling. Uh, rest well tonight. Um, uh, there's a really cool chant I posted on, again, the, the same video where I posted the Sacred Fire at White Lake on Sunday. I posted a hyperlink to a guy named Astarius. Uh, Jane, you want to get to know him. Actually, all my students, go Google that guy. Thank you, Amy, for um, uh, the weekend, by the way. Uh, it was amazing at Amy Kell's spot. Um, she and I follow the same dude, funny enough, no coincidence. Uh, and he's this totally cool cat man. And that particular chant is almost like um, fast forwarded uh, mantras, um, affirmations, but it sounds like a rave song for those of us who grew up in the rave culture. Uh, he has slower ones for those of you who don't like that sound, but it's an ongoing mantra for abundance and security. Uh, definitely research Astarius. Love that guy. Follow him. So does Amy. Uh, and Amy's done well by him. And I just don't listen to him enough. So it's just a reminder to me. But try and find that link on my Facebook wall. It's hyperlinked uh, on the Sacred Fire post on Sunday. All right, guys. So cheers to the Equinox. Here's to another 50 years. <laughs> And uh, may it all be delicious, joyful, happy, healthy. All right, guys, much love. Have a good night. See you next when I see you next. Peace and love. Astarius, A-S-T-A. -A. Actually, you know what? I'll type it for you guys. Google this guy's name. 
I believe I wrote it right or close enough. Uh, if you want the replay, send me an email. Love you. Bye.